it is, you know, it has some running issues, body's rough. Um, but the main thing is that it is a straight, true car. Straight, true car. Straight, true car. Recently, I've been getting requests for an update on my 240Z, as my last video on the car was uploaded eight months ago when I was priming the car for its new paint job. After the first coat of orange was applied, however, I decided to take a few panels off the car for overspray reasons, and upon doing so, I noticed some concerning stuff with the sheet metal underneath. Uh, at this moment, I knew that the accident that the car was in was much more severe than the previous owner had told me, so I postponed laying on the second coat. I decided there was no point in continuing to paint this car when the sheet metal underneath the panels is bent up, which will result in a pretty orange car looking crooked. After a month or so of researching remedies for the damage and getting opinions from other Z owners, I decided to start getting some repair quotes. I went to three body shops, two of which denied even looking at the car because they don't work on cars this old. Uh, the third was willing to help me, so after a while of obtaining chassis specs for the car, uh, I took it in for an assessment. The frame technician at the shop took me over to the car and pointed out the most concerning part of the damage after he assessed the car. Uh, there were multiple dents in the frame, uh, both uh, passenger side and driver side, uh, that indicated the car had bottomed out hard multiple times uh, at least. However, one of these dents uh, on the driver's side frame rail uh, looked like a deep crease that formed from a collision. Uh, you're probably wondering why I didn't notice this before I bought the car. Uh, since it was running very poorly when I went to meet the seller, uh, I didn't have enough power to drive up onto the set of ramps that I bought to check the undercarriage. Therefore, I couldn't see underneath the car uh, that far. So you can kind of see from the top where part of the radiator shroud is kind of sucked in and down due to uh, whatever the accident was. Um, as far as the body repair went, we apparently had to replace every single bolt that holds each of the fenders and scoops on because apparently every single bolt snapped when they went to remove them. And uh, they couldn't really finish the entire job because wherever the mounting points where they used to pull the metal, uh, the metal was too fatigued and the metal, the holes, were starting to stretch and was starting to warp. Uh, the metal so they kind of had to stop halfway uh, through uh, pulling the body but nonetheless all the panels are aligned much better as you can see everything is very straight for the most part all these gaps everything fits pretty flat it's still a little bit close here on the left side but definitely an improvement each gap is just about the same obviously this fender here is from a different car it's from a 280z so it's it's going to be a little different to begin with because of metal thickness and that sort of thing so there's a little bit more of a gap on this side naturally but if you remember my previous videos this access panel was completely warped around and it was there's just a huge massive gap and the panels were not sitting level at all. None of these three were sitting level at all, but now they do. There's still a bit of a gap, but they sit perfectly flat just about. It gets a little bit tall back here, but you know, it's better. And, and of course, the, uh, the front bumper. It's not perfect. You can still see uh, the mounting points for the sugar scoop or the headlight bucket. It still needs to come up another half an inch or so to be perfect, but it, it fits better. Um, it looks better. You know, the car is very dirty and we're getting some rust on that bumper. But uh, the biggest improvement that I really saw was underneath the uh, valance is perfectly aligned with the rest of the body. On each corner, if you remember, this was hanging off like crazy over here. And now it's pretty much straight. It's obviously bent up from you know, regular use and that sort of thing, but uh, it's better, but still, regardless of everything that I'm saying, it's just not what I want it to have. Um, obviously, as I mentioned, I couldn't really get underneath it to determine to take a close look at the metal uh, or underneath the, uh, the whole 
front area and the, from plus the front bumper was missing so I really couldn't see how everything fit together that well and um, I just kind of took his word for it. Um, according to the body shop the damage has not affected the alignment uh, whatsoever they were able to align it perfectly fine so structurally the car is fine it just it just looks kind of off you know it doesn't I mean you can still see if you look at it if you look at it like this it's fine but if you come down here you know you can see that things still aren't quite right and it just it just doesn't give me a good feeling. I'm just not satisfied and I just don't really feel good about it, you know. I went into this wanting to do a restoration and, uh, you know, the only way to do that now is to ship it off to a shop somewhere in LA to get all this stuff professionally done where they would, you know, they would cut out certain parts of the car and put new parts in and that's just, that's just not worth it. It's not like it's an original numbers matching, you know, Series 1 car. It isn't early. It's, it's, it's a 71, but it's not a super special 240Z that's you know that's that's a diamond in the rough it's it's mismatched different engine different trans you know it's got parts from different cars on it it's just it's just not really worth it to me so for the reasons stated I'm just really not thinking it'd be wise to uh, continue building this car uh, with the way things are underneath um, so I think what I'll do is I'll continue fixing it up a little bit. Like I want to get new tires for it because they're, you know, nine years old and dry rotted, at least the rear ones are. I do a little more touch up here and there where I can just to make everything look orange. As you can see, the balance is not orange yet and I have an inspection lid that's not orange yet. But I'll do that. I'll do some work on the brakes and, you know, I suppose I'll have a little bit of fun with it. I'll uh, take it to a few meets. I'll hoon it a little bit and and I think, uh, you know, I'm probably best off selling it and continuing my six year hunt for a solid project car that does not have hidden damage. But in case you're wondering, uh, unlike my other project cars, uh, this won't be the last video on this thing. Uh, you know, I'll still document uh, the little progress I still have to make before I sell it. And of course I'll do a video on just driving it around like crazy and just kind of showing what it's got. So for now, that is what the plan will be. And if perhaps you guys have any feedback or suggestions for me on what I should do or what I shouldn't do, uh, go ahead and leave me a comment and I'll certainly take it into consideration. But uh, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.